Morgan. I have been preparing a research report to tell the world about my process for reanimating dead tissue. It is proving very difficult. I must omit no detail or the more skeptical of my fellows will doubt my results. And yet, if I wait too long, some other scientist may publish first. Why, it is distinctly possible that there are hundreds, even thousands of experimental scientists even now animating their own corpses and trying to publish their results before mine. It's your own fault for spending so much time with her. Uh, yeah, yeah. There probably are, but they're way up in the hills. Well, Frankie is, looks like she is uh, kind of out for the count for a while, covered up, and I guess they've had, I don't want to think about it. Uh, oh, talk about undead. All right. Oh, uh, we see zombies and stuff. You tell Dr. Cranium about the many undead creatures abroad in Mordavia, about the rumors that vampires inhabit the castle. There are, of course, no such thing as living undead. Living Crazy dead, thank you. Gross. Get it right. Science can come to such a thing, and she is a product of science, not of magic. Vampires, Rusalki, Revenants, and Wraiths are the products of superstition and fear. Their existence is scientifically impossible. Look past your hooked nose, my friend, and you will see... Actually, I don't think you've ever left your laboratory, have you? Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's see how he's doing. I'm sure he's uh, going to be smiling a little bit more lately. Talk to Cranium, you fucked corpse. I have been very busy lately preparing my research report. If you have any suggestions... I didn't skip that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, any suggestions? Stick it in my mouth, please. Science is the basis of living an informed life. Without science, there is only ignorance and savagery. With it, we have all the benefits of technology from such simple things as my potions and elixirs all the way up to masterpieces like Frankie. Oh yes, Frankie. Uh, oh right, I keep forgetting I can get potions from him every day. Here you are. Thank you. If you want to imp- No, that's right, he doesn't have stamina. Poison cure, are. poison cure. You are stuck. Of course! Alright, empty flask. That's pretty much all I need. Uh, genius, I am pretty smart. Oh, to become a certified genius, one must obtain a certificate of genius from the Positively International Genius Society. There's a bit more to it. Hat <laughs> says pigs. That's the gist. I am the only pig in this area. Oh, you ruined the joke. Let me think about it for a while. I was all proud of myself for getting a laugh out of that. Screw you, Dr. Cranium. And your process. If I told you about it, it would not be a secret anymore, now would it? <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is that the process involves lightning, life fluid, and an attractive recently dead corpse. Oh, and considerable quantities of pepperoni pizza, of course. It helps me maintain my erection. Publish or perish, they say. It is not sufficient just to be the greatest scientist in the world. One must also strive to be the best known. Otherwise, research grants can be hard to obtain. Uh -huh, no. The key to writing a research report is always to remember this. What? A pen can be driven, but a pencil must be led. Did you guys hear that? That was not whoever this voice is at the moment. That was John Rice Davies. L listen to this again. That was John Rice Davies doing his Dr. Carinium impression. Pop. The key to writing a research report is always to remember this. Amazing. Oh, oh. I love digging little nuggets like that out of this. Oh, oh, oh. All right, give me back your regular voice. Many of the Academy scientists <laughs> are greedy, self-centered, and disorganized. Honest. Some of them have negative attributes as well. It is best not to let other scientists know too much about one's research until one is ready to publish the final results. I, I can't get over that. That's so amazing. And he's sleeping now, so we'll say goodbye. Maybe for the last time. I don't know. Maybe we can check in on him. Bye! You say goodbye. If you should come yeah, across... Yeah, okay. uh, Perhaps I should keep the results. Whoops, oh, well, I'll skip that. But yeah, I, I, I'm basically saying that maybe I shouldn't tell the entire world that I'm fucking a corpse. They, they might not be ready for that. All right, let's see. Who else can we visit? Uh, let's see. Well, we gotta be here at night, so we still got plenty of time. Let's go see how Boris is doing with his, uh, you know, getting back together with Olga. 
See how their relationship is blossoming? Hmm? I feel like I never talk to him anymore. Welcome again. It is... Okay. Uh, hello? Good day and welcome back. God. I want him to read, like... I want him to, If we ever renew our vowels sometimes, I want him to come along and read it in that voice. Do you hereby swear or affirm to love, hold, and gently... I don't know where I was going with that. Wife! You know, it is nice to be able to snuggle with my Olga again on these cold nights. Oh my. Thank you for getting us back together. Oh, you're very welcome, man. But please never mention snuggling your wife. That's like, I just imagine like this grizzled old toothpick being shoved into a Russian-speaking marshmallow. The castle is very quiet during the daytime, but I have heard noises and seen lights in the windows at night. Well, not surprising. You know who's in there, don't you? The people of the town are frightened peasants. Just because no one has ever seen anyone from the castle during the day, they tell tales of monsters in the night. Mm -hmm. I have worked as a gatekeeper here yeah, for many... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And, uh, that's, that's, that's enough. It doesn't look like he has anything else to say. Well, bye! Farewell. Mr. Stovich. Mm. All right, well, that's him. Farewell, and may your path lead to your goal. I'm going to make a set of greeting cards with Boris Stovich's little sayings in them. They're so wonderful. All right, I'm not sure even who else we can visit. we got to go visit the gypsies. Maybe they got another reading for us or some more hints. The Leshy, I think, is gone because we solved all of his riddles. Baba Yaga, I'm in no particular rush to go see again. <laughs> Are you guys quite finished? I can't do anything until you stop howling. Thank you. Hi there. You thirst for more wisdom? Oh, you are greedy. But it is knowledge only that brings long life. Alright, lay some knowledge on me. Let's see if she has anything new to say, though. No. Um, oh, visions in the dark one. How's how Davy's doing? I don't think he has anything new to say about the dark one, I imagine. It is not wise to speak of such things. Uh, I will learn what I can about the dark one. We have avoided the subject so long, we too are ignorant. Perhaps upon your next return, we will have the information you need. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't like the way she giggled after that. I'm a little bit nervous. All right, lay a little bit more knowledge on me. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Forgive oh. me, but I cannot get a reading from the cards right now. Each comes up as a void card, the black one. I will let you know when the time is right to read again. Interesting. Everything is coming up as the void card. That's not a good sign. Bye. You say good. Keep your ears and eyes open and visit us again soon. Such a good game, but man, there's a lot of really big chinks in the armor here. And keep in mind, I'm playing the patched version, too. Before this, this game was notoriously buggy. I think I mentioned that before, but... She did say to meet her outside the ca- the... Wait, the town gates? Or the- oh, or the castle gates. Oh, maybe it's the castle gates. Let's go. I don't want to be late. If this is a date, then, oh, hmm. I brought flowers. Oh. How nice of you to come. I'm afraid I accidentally signed the wrong name to your that, name. You're not Katrina at all. It's been ages since we last met. Come here and let me look at you. No, no, no. You stay out of my eyes, Atavis. Nope, nope, nope. I can do something. Can I throw a dagger at him? That seemed to kill him last time. Da da! No. There we go. <laughs> you have no power against one such as I. Let's play a little game of fox and hound, shall no. we? No. I have summoned the hounds of death. Now we shall see whether you've kept up with your running lesson. What? I hey, uh, fight me. Fight me ma man to man here. Uh, oh. Okay, I'll run. If you, if you think it's funny. 
Whatever, I can take him. I am sneaky feet. Go! Uh, no, no, okay, I guess... You fool! Did you really believe you could get away from me? I didn't really try. I have you now, and you will pay for my death. It is you that caused me to become a vampire. If you had not killed me, I would never be forced to serve the Dark Master again. Again? You probably blame me for all the problems around here, don't you? You understand nothing. The Dark Master is the cause of all the world that is here. I draw a doubt that. The Dark Master brought you here against my better judgment. The Dark Master made me what I am now, a Nosferatu, and seeks to do the same to you. Awesome! I want to be a vampire! But I shall spare you that fate. I will mercifully end your miserable existence. Then, the Dark Master and I will call forth eternal darkness. And we will no longer be limited to travel at night. Ah. Together, my master and I will create an army of undead, and we will conquer the world! Pity you won't be there to witness this. You cannot stop us now. I... I beg to differ. We'll never find your way out of this dungeon. You're not gonna kill me? And only a stake through the heart or more magic than you will ever have can stop us. Well, why would you... You will die knowing that you were destroyed by the Dark Mass. Why would you say that? There's the only way you can kill me is by a special silver bullet. Let's go to my rest. You too shall rest. I will not allow you the chance to escape your fate, or to use that stake and hammer I torment you with here. <laughs> Weapons of my destruction so close at hand, yet so far. That's a really dumb idea. Sleep now, great hero. Tomorrow. We die. Um, why would you just kill me now? Uh, you find yourself falling asleep. Oh, finally, some acting chops from John. Alright, well, down I go, I guess. Okay, A, he gives me a hammer and... You wake up from what you thought was a nightmare, only to discover that it's only too real. So you give me a hammer and stake to kill you with, out of, out of, uh, you know I'm a thief, you know I'm gonna be able to escape this without too much trouble, and you left me with all of my stuff, including my thieves toolkit, which I can use to pick the locks. You open the lock on the chains easily. It seems your foe has underestimated you once again. It does seem odd, though, that he didn't bother to remove your backpack. Huh, wait, wait, wait. So do you think he's actually being a little bit more devious here? So he left all of the stuff in my backpack, knowing I'd escape, and this hammer and and uh, and stake or whatever, thinking that I would kill the Dark Master because they're a vampire too? And it's like, aha, I left you in an easily escapable area with the tools of destruction of vampires. Don't you go escaping now and go killing vampires, ho ho. You pick up the heavy hammer and store it in your pack. Oh, I gotta pick up the stake separately? Alright. You take the wooden stake and stake its claim in your pack. Love it. Alright, chances are I can't take this door. The heavily barred and reinforced door leads out to one of the castle stairways. Oh, that's probably where the ogres were. Let's see if I can... You hear the sound of voices on the other side of the door. Yeah, listen in on them. It's barred on the other side, but you can see and hear the two guards through a peephole in the door. What's going on in there? The master didn't say nothing about guarding no prisoner. It's the enemy guy's orders. So what? He gives us something to do. I don't like it. I think Adaby's guy's trying to pull a fast one on the master. She's not gonna like this. You wants to go down there and tell her? No way. Then shut up! Okay, that kind of confirms my suspicions. Katrina, or the Dark Master, doesn't know that I'm here. And he's like, oh, the Dark Master is what's causing all these problems and blah blah blah. Don't you go escaping and try to kill her now, ho ho. What's this? Now that you look closely, there does seem to be something a bit odd about the design of the Iron Maiden. No. We'll take a deep breath. No. And step inside. No, that's a really bad idea. Sneaky feet. Nope. Nope. You all right? Sneaky feet. Oh, and it. Okay. You are in a lady's richly decorated bedroom. The coffin where there should be a bed seems a bit out of place. But there's no accounting for tastes. Oh, interesting. Oh, and the mirror is broken. Nice, nice choice there. 
In contrast to the lushness of the other furnishings in this room, hey, yeah, the yeah, whatever. All right, well, I mean, you got to do what thieves do in this case. We're in somebody's room, so let's, let's pick the liar. You see some neatly inscribed notes on magical spells. But they're mostly too esoteric for you to understand. Drat. In any Probably case, worth something. It would be unsafe to spend much time fiddling with the desk. The vampire might awaken at any moment. Okay. Well, that's going on in there. Where a bed would normally... Where a bed... Oh! That... Is that Katrina? It barely... Kind of, sort of looks like her. Katrina? Uh-oh. Uh Suddenly you find yourself totally unable to move. Hi! You! What happened to your hair? How dare you! Try to kill me, will you? Uh, no, 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 I didn't do, I didn't do, oh, God. How dare you! This escalated quickly. You break into my home, steal away my child, kill my servant, Toby, and then return to kill me? After I befriended you and helped you, some hero. You. When did you have time to change into your dominatrix outfit? Here to rot. Should let the rats gnaw your bones while you hang there. Give me one reason, one excuse why I should not leave you here to die. Because I kind of like being whipped. Is that is that a good excuse? Uh, tell Katrina I love her. What? Plead for mercy. Tell about Adavis. No. Ah. Oh. You tell her about how Ad Avis brought you here and set you up. Ad Avis. Ad Avis. Yes, that does sound like him. He cannot harm me directly. I am his vampire master, after all. Plotting against me and trying to use you are very much his style. So do you believe me? But it was not Adavish who stole Tanya from me! You broke into my home and took my child away! Why should I show you any mercy? Oh, okay, well, uh, give me another whipping and I'll, I'll tell you. No? Yeah, so Daddy likes it. Uh, say I'm sorry. Explain my actions. Okay. Uh, well, I did it for the staff. How about that? Oi! Try to explain what you're doing in Katrina's bedroom. Trying to find an exit from the dungeon. Oh, this is still like an answer to the old question. Look at the helpless vampire, could you? Funny place to look for an escape route, wasn't it? I have decided that I still have a use for you. Alive. Oh, good. Boy toy. If you help me, okay. you may still manage to leave Mordavia without my mark on I kind of want your mark on me. I want you to seek out the five missing Dark Van Rituals. Oh, finally a reason. And return to the castle. Deal. Together, we will summon the Dark One and bring eternal night to this land. Um, you do know I'm a hero, you right? Help me, won't you? Or must I take more drastic measures to assure your obedience? Uh, you can, uh, the whip is fine, uh, just... Uh... I agree to help. Can I talk to her about stuff? Oh, I can ask her about all kinds of stuff. Drastic methods, Katrina's mark, I think I know what that means. Let's ask her about the... Uh, oh, Dark One. The Dark One lies dreaming between this world and its own. The Dark One's cave not only is it... Ve okay, very Cthulian. It is the Dark what? One. What? I need the rituals in order to bring the Dark One back into this world. But he's there. I guess just his body is there. Katrina's mark. Oh, tell me, is it, so is it the whipping marks or is it like a hickey or something? The telltale mark of a vampire's victim is the pair of puncture wounds on the throat. Oh, well, nothing much about that one. Eternal night! The Dark One will cast the shadow of darkness upon this land. Daylight will never come again. Doesn't sound so bad. Then I will no longer need to sleep helpless in my coffin. I will no longer be vulnerable to any mere human who seeks to drive a stake through my heart. Well, can't you just, like, I lock it or, you know, to sleep inside, like, a metal coffin or something? A little bit more protected? Whatever. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, of course, first things first, hit the old subscribe button. And if you want to see some more Quest for Glory stuff, click on Grease. And if you want to see something a little bit different and mysterious, click on the mysterious mask. It's a bit... yeah.
Tschüss.